Billy Jill here with North Texas Vegetable Gardening and Swampland because that's about what it's like out here. Um, last rain we had was on Wednesday. Uh, it's terrible guys. <laughs> We've gotten uh, 33 inches since around the first week of September and uh, it's just a terrible muddy mess. I'm going to take you around and uh, show you what's happening which is not much of anything other than a big mess. We've not been able to mow. We've not been able to trim. Uh, everything that I planted with exception of some of the beets and my turnips have washed away. Um, but anyway, I'm thankful for the rain and uh, we're supposed to have a completely dry week this week. We hope that uh, that continues so we can get the property mowed down and get it cleaned up and get ready for the winter time. Anyway, let's go check out what's going on. My pepper, raised bed pepper garden has uh, produced quite a bit just in the last month. You can go back and look at what I did with some of them. I made a pepper relish. Turned out really good actually. Um, we've used it several times in some beans and, and some queso and absolutely delicious. But see, I've got some good bells coming up. I should be able to get uh, those a little bit bigger before our first freeze. Anaheim peppers are looking really good. I think uh, I'm gonna get quite a few more of these and I can put a roast on them and go ahead and freeze them and uh, use them throughout the year. This is my little Maggie dog. She's such a good girl. Hey, Maggie. Say hi. Hey, Mag. There's some of my purple top turnips coming up. I got uh, quite a few of those all through, but you can see the moisture is really taking a toll on it, but I think we're going to get enough for me to do a good canning, and here's the rest of the garden. Guys, it's just been terrible. Nothing that I can see so far. I can't get in there has really started to come up. All washed away. This is the backyard, guys. You may recall this is where those cracks were earlier in the year, during the summer. Again, we have not gotten rain since Wednesday, so we've had Thursday, Friday, we've had three days, and water's not going anywhere. It's just sitting there. I am sure hoping this week, without any rain, but this is going to go into the ground. It's a mess. So as you can see, it looks pretty, pretty wet, pretty damp. So what's a girl to do today? I'll show you what I'm going to do and you're going to crack up, but um, we're going to go ahead and do it just to show you that we can right now. We're going to go fishing. See that hole right there? You know what that is? That's a crawdad hole. We're going to see if we can't pull one up just for, just for the grins. When I was a kid, we used to do this at my aunt's house, who didn't live too far from here. What we do is we take a little piece of raw bacon, tie it onto some string, and we just put it down in the hole. Maggie, no, Maggie, get back. Maggie. See if we can't get it to sink. I might have to put me, Maggie. She wants the bacon. See if I can't get it down in that hole. I can't see the hole real well. I may have to put a rock on it. Maggie! Oh, I think I found the hole. There it goes. It's going on down. And I'm going to see if I can't get it to get a little tight here. Once it starts getting a little tout, we know that we got a bite. Oh, there it goes. Did you see it? I got one. Oh, it let go. Let's see if it takes it again. We're going to move over to the other one.
Well, you get the gist of it. Looks like we got some bites. But anyway, um, pray that uh, everything dries up a little bit around here. <laughs> We've been praying for rain all summer. Now we want it to dry up a little bit. Um, anyway, we're not going to get a lot out of the garden other than turnips and beets, but that's okay. Um, it'll be ready for us in the spring. Coming up real soon, we'll take some of our leaves and we'll put it in, in the garden when I'm able to get in there and work on it and uh, put some of that organic matter in there and till it in and get it ready for our spring planting. Kitchen uh, remodeling is coming along greatly. We're just about finished with the cabinets. Hopefully I'll have an update on that for you um, one day this week. Anyway, you guys have a great week. God bless. Take, uh, take care of yourselves and we'll talk to you next week.